I'm Nicola Peltz Beckham, and this is Everything I Eat in a Day. When I wake up in the morning, I wake up with my dogs in the bed, with Brooklyn. Unfortunately, the first thing I do is check my phone, order a Starbucks every single morning, and I order a chai tea latte with oat milk. It's a habit that I have not been able to break. It never comes like really hot, of course, because it has to travel. Then I get it and I always have to make it super hot in the microwave. I put it in for 37 seconds every morning. I don't know why. <laughs> Brooklyn actually doesn't like coffee. He actually drinks the same as me, but he drinks it iced because he doesn't really like drinking hot things. And then our new discovery is we went to Napa. We went to this really cute bakery and they had coffee there and I had a lavender latte for the first time and it was like the best thing I've ever had. So I'm on a search to find the best one in LA. I'm not usually hungry in the mornings, but if I am, I have a blueberry muffin. And I feel like it's just also easy for if I'm running out the door. I feel like I'm doing like a Starbucks campaign right now, but I'm not gonna lie, it's definitely a Starbucks blueberry muffin. <laughs> I love breakfast food, period. Like just for lunch, like right now, I just had pancakes. So I love pancakes and waffles and like, all breakfast food. I am a huge snacker. I love snacks and I have a really bad sweet tooth. In my cupboard, I have candy, like chips. I think it's because I grew up with so many siblings and like we had so much like snacks around. So I feel like it's sad when you don't have like a lot of snacks in the cupboard. Like sometimes my mom will come to visit and our fridge looks sad and empty and she's always like, you need to have things in here. It like feels happier. If it's not lunch yet and but I'm hungry, I'll always make like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I feel like the way I'm describing my diet is I actually sound like a 10 year old but I love peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, or there's called Snacklins, and I have those in my cabinet that I really love. We have a lot of cereal, and oh, and I love dates. It's a brand called Julie's, and they have these like cute little boxes. I feel like my cupboard sounds so random. Brooklyn and I have just made this salad that we're obsessed with, and we make it all the time. It's super easy. It's just like arugula, lemon juice, olive oil, salt, and at the grocery store, they have like salad toppings, but they're candied nuts. And then we put Parmesan cheese and we make like a huge bowl of it. And that's really what we've been eating for lunch a lot lately. If we're not cooking at home, or he just discovered this new place, this udon noodle place, and it's amazing, but I should, I don't have the name and I should get it because it's really good. I get the most hungry before dinner and then really late if I'm up late. The most awful times to eat probably. But we love to go get fresh bread, toast like a baguette and put like butter and have balsamic on the side. And I feel like that's our afternoon snack. Or cereal. You know the special K cereal with the strawberries? That's my favorite. So sometimes if I'm in a rush and like I run out the door, I just will pour myself a bowl of cereal. And then for dinner, Brooklyn cooks a lot, which I love. My favorite thing that he makes is angel hair pasta with pink sauce. Probably my favorite meal ever. Brooklyn always does the cooking. I am a terrible cook. The only thing I can do is make that salad. And I feel very happy about that, I'm really confident making that salad, but that is the only thing I can contribute to dinner. <laughs> Other than that, I just, I eat everything. <laughs> Honestly, my family is not good at cooking. My mom is terrible. The only thing is like when we were sick, she would make cinnamon toast. And like, I think we liked it because she dumped so much sugar on it that like, what could go wrong? It was just really good. Love her, but no, we both did not get the cooking gene. But I had a Brazilian nanny that's like my grandma, and she was an amazing cook. So she cooked all Brazilian food and desserts for me and it was so good. I love Brazilian food. Our favorite restaurant is Matsuhisa. It's sushi and that would be a definite date night. They have yellowtail sashimi there, which is my favorite. And then they have miso soup. Brooklyn always orders crispy rice with spicy tuna, which is really good. Honestly though, everything they have at that restaurant is incredible. So sometimes we just ask them what they suggest and they bring different little things. But I would say other than Pasta, sushi is definitely my favorite. He loves to make a gin and tonic. I don't like that. I don't love the taste of alcohol and I'm a lightweight. So if I have a drink, it's like this much pineapple juice and like 
this much vodka, and then I'm like, good. At Matsu, though, I love the lychee martinis. That's like my favorite, because you don't really taste the alcohol. <laughs> I definitely have a sweet tooth, a bad sweet tooth. I can never say no to dessert. I also can't have that much dairy, but I eat it anyways, because I can't help myself. I love challah bread. I mean, I don't know who doesn't, because it's like sweet bread. It's so good. Sometimes if you make cinnamon toast with challah bread, it's like extra sweet, and it's really good. I love the green tea ice cream that they have at Matsu, and also I love mochi. They're like really good. I think maybe because when we were in Paris for Fashion Week, they had at the mini bar M&Ms. Every time we binge watch, we just have a bowl of M&Ms. Oh, the other snack actually that we love is frozen purple grapes. For Thanksgiving or Christmas, Brooklyn loves to cook because like I said, my family is not very good at it, so we're very excited when he can contribute to the cooking. And that is everything I eat in a day. Please check out Welcome to Chippendales on Hulu. Bye!